Greetings YouTube, just wanted to give you a quick update on what's happened with this. Uh, basically I had some bits of the uh, table legs left, which have made up most of the turbine. So I decided to cut a bit out, drill two holes in, and then obviously weld it on. And that works very well with regards to holding the motor in, <coughs> holding the motor in, because remember it's directly upside down at the minute. One thing I'll know is that I have to remove this little kind of lip on here off the bolts uh, because this ends a tiny little bit higher up I'll explain why. I decided to go with a bolt on the outside on this one and on the inside on this one. Let me just turn it around. So there, I decided to use these because I haven't got any money and uh, I'm into using whatever I've got lying around so that sorted that issue out. So to get the motor out it'll be a case of uh, that's a bit of a fanny about. Turn those up with a spin around, and that slides out like so. So yeah, sweet. I've just got it mocked up to show you what's what. I can't spin it around very hard because the bearings aren't uh, bolted down or anything. One thing that's super important is that these are all at exactly the same height, so this bar doesn't get bent. Uh, because like if I tighten that down, all the way down now, we'd end up with a bent bar. So I'll just put it in because uh, I wanted to show you that it looks pretty cool when it's spinning. So yeah, that's the next step. This is that old Chinese hub that I had to bodge up, but we may end up using that. I've got the blades for it. So not much progress, but did get the stuff sorted out. That holds the, uh... So not that much progress, but I did get these sorted out which I'm very happy with that will hold the motor in. So hopefully in the next video the, these plates, I'm going to have to make a plate for here, that's not that big a deal. There's already two bolt holes there so it makes sense to use that one. Obviously the motor's going to fit in here. And yes, uh, so I'll post a video when I manage to get the plates done and the bearings all centred up and everything. Sweet!